Welcome back, aspiring food bloggers. In our last video, we laid the foundation of your blog by selecting a domain and hosting. Now imagine looking at a restaurant menu. The first thing you notice isn't the food, but the layout, colors, fonts, and if you're at Denny's, the pictures. That's exactly what a theme does on WordPress. And in this video, we'll go over the best options. Let's get cooking. In WordPress, there are three main ways to build your site. The first, use the Gutenberg editor that comes with WordPress. The second, picking a theme that closely matches what you want your site to look like and then customizing it with the theme controls. And the third, using an external page builder plugin to build everything from a blank page. Each method offers varying levels of design control, from simple to complex, and can be used alone or combined to suit your needs. Themes set the overall look, while Gutenberg and page builders adjust content and layout within that framework. But many themes offer so much built-in customization that you don't need a page builder plugin to customize. So, for those just starting, using a theme is the most straightforward and easiest option. There are tons out there, like the very popular Astra that's great for all types of WordPress sites and can be customized to create a food blog. Foodica is a free food blog focused theme that looks very nice. However, many of the advanced features, like having a magazine style layout or recipe index, require the pro version of Foodica. If you're really ready to get serious about food blogging, we recommend Foodie Pro. It's a premium theme that offers a clean and professional look with all types of features you'll want. It starts at only $19, making it one of the cheaper premium themes out there. You can upgrade it for even more features down the road, but the creators of the plugin are nice enough to have a less expensive version as you build out your recipe collection and don't need those high-end features yet. Let's take a look at how to install Foodie Pro. First, you'll need to go to your WordPress dashboard. Remember, as in our last video, you can find it by either logging in directly through Big Scoots if you use them for your hosting, or by typing wp-admin to the end of your URL. Go to Appearance, then Themes, and finally Upload Theme. Choose your Foodie Pro file, install it, and activate it. That's it! You've set the theme for your blog. In the next video, we'll give an overview of the Foodie Pro theme and start creating our first blog post. Make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and happy blogging!